Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 436. Hearing Laws. Name the three types of hearing laws. The three types of hearing laws are conductive, sensory neural, and noise induced. What is a Rini test? Rini test is a hearing test that compares perception of sound transmitted by air conduction versus bone conduction. This test is done using a tuning fork and you vibrate the tuning fork and you place it next to the ear and then you also vibrate the tuning fork and place it on the mastoid. If the air conduction is longer than the bone conduction, this is a normal situation. But if the bone conduction is longer than the air conduction, then this is abnormal and is suggestive of conductive hearing loss. What is the Weber test? Weber test is a hearing test that also uses the tuning fork. You vibrate the tuning fork and place it in the middle of the head and you ask the patient on which ear do they hear better. In a normal situation, they should hear equally on both ears, but if the sound in one ear is better than the other, that means the ear with a better sound is the affected ear. What are the Rini test results and Weber test results in conductive hearing loss? In conductive hearing loss, there is going to be abnormal Rini test because in conductive hearing loss, the bone conduction at the mastoid process is going to be greater than the air conduction. In conductive hearing loss for Weber test, the sound is going to be heard better in the affected ear. Describe the Rini test and the Weber test results in sensory neural hearing loss. In sensory neural hearing loss, the Rini test is going to be normal because air conduction is going to be greater than the bone conduction. And the air conduction is checked when you put the tuning fork right next to the ear. And the Weber test result in sensory neural hearing loss will show that the sound is heard better in the unaffected ear. So the sound is heard better in the normal ear. In sensory neural hearing loss, even though the Rini test is normal because air conduction is greater than bone conduction, and the reason it seems normal is because both air and bone conduction are decreased equally. So since both are decreased equally, the difference between them is unchanged. How does noise-induced hearing loss happen? Noise-induced hearing loss can happen due to the damage of the stereociliated cells and organ of corti, and it can also happen if there is sudden extremely loud noises which can cause the tympanic membrane to rupture. In noise-induced hearing loss, what frequency hearing is lost first? In noise-induced hearing loss, the high-frequency hearing is lost first. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.